Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another reading, hanging out with Mega Good Vibes, and we are on to do messages from the Divine Masculines. I, I want to start off this reading by asking the deck, what do you need to remember about your connection? Because I feel like it's 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 something that your Divine Masculine wants you to remember. It's really this romantic energy that I'm feeling of two people wanting to reconnect. So I'm going to ask what it is you, whoever's listening, needs to remember about your connection to this Divine Masculine. Okay, that's how I want to start off this reading. Universe, you can see who is watching. Please provide clarity on their journey. What do they need to remember about their connection to this person? Okay, so we have calling in your soulmate, okay? So your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Right away, I'm getting like to think more kindly of your Divine Masculine, okay? I feel like a lot of static in the connection. Many of you could be drawn to very like dark readings at this time, so be careful of that. Pay attention to anything trying to infiltrate the connection. Uh, to your Divine Masculine. This is why many of your Masculines could be coming through more strongly in your dream state. Um, we have Worth Waiting for sliding out of the deck along with Forgiveness and Learning. So they may be trying to come through um, energetically in your dreams and things like that so that you know it's their energy because I feel like this reading is for many of you who are not having the best visualizations or you can't keep positive affirmations about your counterpart so be careful of this guys because I do sense that like it's coming out or it's not a secret anymore that a lot of karmic situations around your divine masculine are involved in a lot of spell work um, and it doesn't always have to be like the traditional spell work where you know you think of all kinds of crazy things i mean it very well could be a lot of people could be googling like you know witchcraft or spell work or is spell work real I f but I also feel like just putting their mouth on you, like in Trinidad we say like, you know, someone puts their mouth on you where it's like they constantly speak of you or they hold your name um, in their mouth and it, it's a lot of like bad intentions that are being um, just sent towards you, okay? So we have forgiving and learning because there's something about this that I... I like, okay, I feel that people are trying to distract you from your journey and a lot of your, if you guys are having dreams of your divine masculines, watching you, looking over you, coming back again, trying to renew that spark, it's because whatever is happening right now, the, the static or the illusions, this connection is worth waiting for and that's what they want you to know. They want you to pay attention to the thoughts that you're having about them and whether or not you need to practice forgiveness and what this what the heartache or heartbreak has taught you they're they're asking you not to forget that part of the journey okay because i feel like a lot of your masculines want to make communication or they want to connect in some way but your energy is <clears throat> is blocked pay attention to whether or not this is how you genuinely feel or if someone wants you to be blocked from your masculine, okay? We have let your friends help you. So this is a confirmation that if you guys want to know the answer to that, ask for guidance from your angels or your spirit guides, okay? Ask them genuinely, is someone trying to block me? Can you give me a dream? Can you give me confirmation? You know, pick something that only you and your heart of mine will know um that this is you and your guides communicating okay we have ace we have water so pisces cancer or scorpio so i'm hearing like your person is trying to come through in this reading with a new beginning and they could be a water sign they could be a pisces cancer or scorpio or you could be the pisces cancer or scorpio but they're definitely giving a shout out here i feel like they're trying to make the message here even more specific so that you know exactly who it is they are that's what i'm getting out of that card okay um, what else do you need to know that this person is going through? Do they have true intentions for you? What have they learned? Do they have true intentions? How can you guys trust this again? Okay, so we have cycles and we have completion and we have change. So there's something within them that's maybe changed. Do they have new perspective? They're seeing things clearly for what it is they are. Their eyes are open to this connection. They're they're genuinely trying to communicate to you a change that's happened. They've experienced some side of some sort of cycle um, with the butterfly there. It confirms like some sort of death has occurred. Okay, they're ready for something new. 
Okay, again, with this water card and the ace card here coming up, we have someone who is a, a Pisces either ready for something new or they want to let you know, like, to be open to read, uh, to be open to something new, okay. And we have also again forming structure and a solid foundation coming through. So I feel like somebody wants to look at what we have at the top of the deck: family, home, and commitment. This is what they're craving. Like it keeps coming up with the energies. This is what your divine masculine is craving. Like someone who has stability. I feel like a lot of your masculines are fantasizing about a happy home life, what it's like to have a family, particularly with you because they know that it would feel good, it would feel safe. They've never wanted to commit to anybody else when it comes to this this particular energy of like having kids or expanding themselves, expanding their energy, creating something outside of themselves that they now have to love and be responsible for. <laughs> I feel like a lot of your masculines have been really terrified of that. Um, but with you, for some reason, it feels like they want it, they want to do that. They want to take that risk. Or they don't even feel like it would be a risk. There's just so much grounding around it. This could be a new idea with the ace here coming up for this person who's a water sign. This new feeling of like, wow, so this is what it's like to want a family, to want marriage, to want kids, to want commitment with a person. Okay, we have ego, vanity, and pride. They could be stepping out of this energy or realizing that, that this is the energy that's been holding them back from family, home, and commitment. They've been focused on the wrong things. Maybe they've been focused on a person who, now that they open up their eyes, realize that that person is just really focused on themselves a lot of the times. They're not focused on just expanding, creating. Okay, I feel like your masculines want more in life. And you represent abundance and stability and just this energy of more. How do they see you? Because you could have like that whole happy home life and they admire you from afar. Okay, we have seeds and we have springs. So they see you as very fertile. Okay, they see you as um, just being filled with the opportunities to grow with them. Like there's something about you that like you're... You, you plant good seeds or they would want to spread their seeds with you or they know that having children with you would be just a beautiful a beautiful thing a beautiful energy they they want that with you i don't know why that's coming through so strongly um let's get a card from the tarot of sensual magic okay why, do they, why are they feeling so passionate about procreating with you or just having children with you? How do they see you from a passionate place? What are they feeling for you? What's the masculine's feeling for the feminine from this place of passion? We have the Ten of Cups. And even in this card, too, I feel like she's surrounded by a lot of fruit that may have seeds in it. I see, like, maybe, like, pomegranate or, you know, a lot of plums or maybe seeded grapes. You know, there is something about you that is is very nurturing, is very fulfilling. It completes, because the 10 is a number of completion. You feel, you make this person feel like, like fulfilled, um, that's the energy or that's the vibe or feeling that they get when they're around you. You know, if we go back to calling in your soulmate here, you know, this person can't help but fantasize about a life with you, a happy home life. And I feel like it's exciting because they've only been used to a particular type of lifestyle where it's been focused more on like superficial things. And I feel like that's gotten boring for this divine masculine. They want fulfillment. They want something more and something about seeds, spreading their seed or seeing you as someone that they want to grow with or spring forward with in some way, create something new, create something that is um, just more refreshing. It has a lot to do with committing to one person. I feel like it's exciting for a masculine who never wanted this for themselves who never thought that they could have this for themselves and then it's like out of the blue they meet you and it may not be ideal circumstances in which they've met you maybe one of you are connected to other people maybe one of you may be already married you have children i feel like those things don't matter anymore it's like it's becoming more and more apparent to this masculine that those little things don't matter it's like it's now or never they have you here in the flesh in this lifetime 
and it's it's a chance to experience this and if they don't come forward and say something then they might miss out on this completion this fulfillment okay so yeah that's what i have for you guys for this one i hope you guys have enjoyed take it easy and i'll catch you in the next one okay bye guys